Hello, hello, good evening, ladies, Ana Maria and my dad. Can you hear me well? Good evening, teacher. Hello, hello. You, good evening, can you, teacher. Can you hear me well? Yes, teacher. Yes, okay, perfect. So okay. we're going to get started with uh, today's session in a minute. So how are you feeling today? How was your day? Mm. My day is much work. My day was much, much work. It was a busy day with a lot of work. Yeah. So your your day was busy. Okay. Uh, ocupado, right? Like. Yeah. Okay. What about your day, my uh, Ana Maria? Uh, it was um, a little busy. A little busy, okay, a little busy. Got it. Um, well, this is the moment of the day, of your day, that you have to disconnect from work, okay? Disconnect from homework, from responsibilities, and just concentrate in practicing and in interacting with your classmates um and having fun right having fun whenever possible so um welcome it is a pleasure to be with you uh, on a wednesday night uh, today is the second of the second month of the 2022 interesting a lot of twos in the, in today's date okay so we're going to get started today we are going to practice with different um uh, activities, okay, especially for speaking and a little bit of writing. So today we're going to focus on that. And well, here we have Glenda and Victoria who are connecting. And um, what do you remember about yesterday's class? What were we talking about? What do you remember from yesterday's class? Glenda, Victoria, can you hear me? Yes, teacher. We okay. talked about the auxiliary do and does, uh -huh. and also the pronouns. Yes, that's correct. We talked Hi, about. Good Hello, good evening. We talked about the object pronouns, right? Object pronouns. All right. Yes, that's correct. So uh, that's what we're talking. And also we were talking about music, a little bit, a little bit about music, right? And so we were asking different questions about who your favorite actor is, who your favorite singer is, what kind of uh, music you like, what kind of movies you like, what kind of TV programs you, you like, and so on. So we have a lot, we had a lot of different, um, let's say, topics, okay, to discuss. And uh, today we're going to move on with the topics. I'm going to, uh, let's say, uh, show you uh, like a brief review of yesterday's session, okay, in case you don't remember so well, or in case you didn't connect to yesterday's class for any reason, I will show you quickly what we were discussing. And then we're going to move on with the activities that I have prepared for you. There are some little surprises there, some new activities. So I hope that you enjoy them. Here we go. So, um, we, the, well, we talked about the music, right? We're talking about uh, the different categories of entertainment, for example, movies, music, and TV programs. Um, let's see, pronunciation. Can you, well, can we get some, can I get some volunteers to pronounce the list of words that appear here? 
There are different Thank words. You, okay. How do you pronounce this word? Classical. Classical, that's correct. This one? Game shows. This one? Science fiction. Science, uh huh. Science, science fiction. fiction. What about this one? Rylers. Um, close, but no. <laughs> okay, so can you please select one volunteer from your classmates to continue with the with the vocabulary? Okay, Victoria. Victoria. Okay. So, Victoria, how do you pronounce Thanks, this Gabby. word? <laughs> <laughs> How do you pronounce this word? Thrillers. Thrillers with the sound in the beginning, right? With the like a like Thriller. a theta, Thriller. right? Thriller, Thriller, like Michael Jackson's famous song, right? Thriller. Yes, yes, right. Uh -huh. How do you pronounce this? Horror films. Horror, Horror, Horror films. films. That's correct. How do you pronounce this one? Oh, Westerns? I don't know. I'm not sure. That was very close. It's Westerns. 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 So the end sound goes at the end. Okay, Westerns. Victoria, can you please select the, the next volunteer? Um, Ana Maria. Ana Maria, you are the chosen one. Ana Maria, how do you Ana pronounce... Maria. How do you pronounce this word? Jazz. Jazz. Okay, Z with the sound Z at the end, right? Jazz. How do you pronounce es que ese this? No me sale, <laughs> como una abejita, like a bee, como una abeja. No me sale la abejita. Uh -huh. Okay, jazz. Um, this one? News. News, that's correct. You can say news or news, that's okay. People, some people say new and some people say new, like New York, New York. It's a little difference, but it's the same thing. Okay, how do you pronounce this one? Soap opera. Soap opera. And how do you pronounce this one? Talk shows. Talk, right? Talk. Uh -huh. Talk. Talk shows. That's right. Excellent. So that's what we discuss about vocabulary. Okay, we continue with the next slide. Wait a second. Thank you to the volunteers. Really good job. And now we're going to, uh, well, we had the conversation. We were practicing a uh, conversation between Tom and Liz about Eminem and Celine Dion, totally different uh, singers. And as one of you was saying uh, at the beginning, I think it was Ana Maria, uh, we studied the use of yes, no questions and WH questions with do and does, okay? As you, something that you have to remember and keep in mind is that we have uh, the two auxiliaries, the two auxiliaries, but the, the only difference, the only difference is about the pronouns. So with the pronoun do, I mean, with the auxiliary do, what are the pronouns that we use? What pronouns do we use with the auxiliary do? For example, I, you, you, we, uh, we thank you, Zach, and they, they, they correct. So with the auxiliary do, with the, with the form do, we use I, you, we, they. Now, when we use does, we refer to the pronouns. She, she, he, 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 he and he, it. He. Okay, so for example, if I want to ask the question, uh, les gusta, uh, el rock a tus amigos, how would you ask that question? Using do or using does? Da. Le gusta mm -hmm. el rock a tus amigos? Ah. Uh. Do. Yes, I do. 
Do. How do you ask a question? Do. 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 Do they like their Do your friends? Do your friends like rock? Rock. Rock music, right? Do your, your friends like rock music? Like rock music. And the answer, the possible answer, affirmative? Yes, I do. Yes, I yes. do. I. They do. They ah, do. Ah, yes, they, they do. do. Or yes. negative? Yes, or no, no, they, they don't. don't. No, they, no, they don't. don't. They don't. Uh -huh, uh -huh. It's a mini test. It's a mini test. Now, how do you ask the question? How do you ask the question? Um, Toca el piano tu hermana. Toca la guitarra. Let's say, let's change the word. Toca la guitarra tu hermana. Does your sister. Does your sister play the guitar? Play the guitar. Correct. Does your sister play the guitar? The possible answers? Yes. Yes, they does. Yes, she does. She does. She does. She's no, a sister. She does. She's a sister. She's or sorry. no, she doesn't. She does. Correct. So this is the way that we use these two auxiliaries. Okay, don't forget about that. It is necessary that you practice. It is necessary that you practice. Okay, so this is yes, no question. Now, what happens if we want to ask a WH question? Easy. Um, for the first question, do your friends like rock music? How would you ask the question? Eh, ¿Qué tipo de música les gusta a ellos? How, how would you ask that question? ¿Qué tipo de música les gusta a ellos? In English. What kind? What kind of music? Do they like? Do they, do they like? Like. Aha. Uh -huh. Poss possible answer? You can invent. Invent uh, the answer. They like. They like pop. They music. like rock music. Ah, oh, it can be they like pop music or they like perreo, whatever, right? Music. Okay. Excellent. Now. Um, how would you ask the question? How would you ask the question? Uh, ¿Qué instrumento toca tu hermana? ¿Qué instrumento toca ella? ¿Qué instrumento toca ella? What kind of what instrument? Kind? What? What, 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 what kind kind instrument does she play? Does she play? Okay, we can say what kind of instrument, or in this case, we can say what musical, right? To be specific, what musical instrument does she play? Okay, and the answer? She, she plays, plays the the guitar. Okay, she plays the guitar, she plays the saxophone, she plays the piano, etc., etc., etc. Okay, so that's the way that we use the WH question and we use the yes, no questions using do or does. Excellent. Now, Mister, hello, tell tengo me. Una pregunta. Y en este caso, podría ser what kind of instrument does she play? What kind of instrument does she play? Mm -hmm. uh, but in this case, the answer can be different. For example, um, the answer can be uh, like, tipo instrumento, puede ser instrumento de percusión, de aire, de cuerdas. Ya sería uh, otro, yeah. otra okay, clasificación. Okay, okay. Ajá, ajá. Entonces se pregunta directamente qué instrumento toca o qué instrumento musical okay. toca. Ajá, yes. Okay, excellent. Now let's continue. Uh, this was the example, a little practice review, right, from yesterday's class. Uh, remember that you can take some screenshots if you want, that's okay. And now we continue with the next one.
All right, so we practice the conversations. We practice conversation one, two, and three. And the intonation, the intonation here is with questions. For example, do you like pop music? Goes up. If you see yes, no questions, usually, usually have rising intonation. Usualmente la intonación en las preguntas de sí o no va hacia arriba. And WH question go down. So they have a falling intonation. For example, what kind of music do you like? What kind of music do you like? What kind of music do you like? So it goes up and then down, right? So um, you are going to practice a little bit of intonation, okay? And pronunciation with your classmates in the breakout rooms, okay? You can answer the question, okay? You can answer the question to practice more speaking. But pay attention to the intonation, okay? So the exercise B, do you like TV? Do you like music videos? Do you play a musical instrument? Go up, right? Do you play a musical instrument? And then the following intonation would be, what programs do you like? What videos do you like? What musical instrument do you play? What musical instrument do you play? So it goes down, okay? Como que le baja el volumen, right? So that is the intonation. Okay, in Spanish, we don't pay too much attention to that, but in English, it is important, right? Because you express better, you use the language in a better way. So take a screenshot, please, so that you can practice in the breakout room and don't forget that to practice more speaking, you can answer the question. Do you like TV? Mm, no, I don't. I prefer Netflix, all right? Um, do you like music videos? Okay, let's practice, okay? Ask me the questions. I am going to give you my personal answer, okay? My own answer. Ask me any of the questions here. Mm -hmm. Volunteers? Ting, ting, ting. Ask questions to the teacher. What programs do you like, teacher? What programs do you like? Okay, what programs do you like? Um, I like, uh, I would say I like programs that are about um, law and justice, about animals, and about um technology i like those kinds of programs um like discovery channel uh nat geo okay animal planet those are the kind of um sh programs that i like okay so um next question do you like music backbone <laughs> Do you like uh, Bad Bunny's music? Uh, no, I don't. <laughs> Me imagine. <laughs> yeah, you can imagine that. Um, what else? One more, one more? No, you're ready to practice? I hope so. So right now I am going to send you to the breakout room and you are going to practice asking and answering these questions. Don't forget about the intonation. If it is a yes, no question, rising intonation. If it is a WH question, falling intonation. Ready? Here we go in three, two, one, go. Accept the invitation, please. All right, perfect. Glenda, did you get the invitation? No, teacher. No? I'm here, no. Okay, let me send you to a breaker room now. I think somebody's alone right now, let me check, yeah. Okay, I will send you to the breaker room number three. So the invitation you, now, please, you're welcome.
Hello, Mr. Can you hear me? Okay, perfect. Okay, ask me some questions and I will ask you some others. Okay. Okay. What videos do you like? Um, I like, uh, wait a second. I think Elias is coming now. So okay. maybe, oh, and Rodrigo too. Uh, okay, so let me move um, Elias here and you explain him what we're doing, please. Okay. Okay. And I'm going to assign Rodrigo to the breaker room number six. Okay. Okay, I think uh, Elias is having some technical problems to connect. So Rodrigo is going to practice with you. Okay, so okay. welcome Rodrigo. You're going to be practicing an exercise with uh, Isaac. He's going to explain you what you're doing, okay? He's just yeah. practicing, asking and answering some questions, okay? Exercise number five, part B. Yeah. TV? Do you like music videos? Do you like play musical instruments? What Very program good. do you like? What video? Okay. Do you like music videos? No, I don't. Why not? I because I don't have time <laughs> to watch them. Okay. <laughs> music videos. Uh, yes, I like music videos. Do you play a uh, musical instrument? No, I don't. Okay. Uh, the number three, what? Uh, Did you finish exercise uh, the part B? Uh, call yes. me that number one, number two, teacher. Ah, okay. No, but I was wondering about the about this part. Um, okay. the part five. Do you practice okay. these questions? If you didn't, yeah. you will have okay, excellent. So we're going to go back to the session, to the main session right now, and I will see you there. Bye. Excellent, everybody's coming back. They're having some um, fun asking and answering the questions. And now it's time to move on, okay? As I told you, we have some extra activities to do. So we're going to start with one of them. Okay, so um, this is the last. This is the last exercise that you were doing yesterday. Remember, uh, you were asking what's your favorite kind of music, movie, TV program. Who's your favorite singer, actor, actress? Okay, um, and you can ask many questions about that. But as the main topic is music, I am going to share a link with you so that you can share with us. You can share the information with us about your favorite ones. Okay, what are you going to do? Simple, I am going to send you a link to the chat. You open the link and you will have three uh, opportunities. I mean, you will have the opportunity to answer three different answers, okay? To give three, for three different answers. The question is, mention your favorite singer or singers or or N, your favorite band or music band or music bands. Okay, I am going to share the screen with you. Wait a second, a new screen. So you see what I'm telling you about? Okay, here we go. So this, 
I am going to send the link to the through the chat right now. This is a website that helps to create different um, activities. So please open the link and answer the question. Okay, answer the question. When you start answering, you are going to see the all of the responses here. Okay, so we're going to see the, the bands, the singers that you and your classmates like. So enter your information. You have three different uh, spaces, three different spaces to answer. Pueden dar tres respuestas. Okay, maybe one singer, two bands, two band, I mean, two singers and one band. Okay, open the link that is in the chat and answer. Aha, we have the first one. Scorpions, Guns and Roses and Bon Jovi. You can give multiple answers. If you want to answer one more time, just open the link one more time and do it. It's okay. You can answer all your favorite singers and bands here. Okay, Coldplay, Bon Jovi and Linkin Park. Okay, interesting. We see, I see a lot of rock here. Taylor Swift, Enanitos Verdes, Ricardo Arjona. Nice. Uh -huh, Alejandro Sanz, Héroe del Silencio. Okay, I see some rock in Spanish now with a little romantic. Aerosmith, I love Aerosmith. Nirvana, Coldplay, yeah, I, I, that's one of my favorite bands too. Okay, Bon Jovi, two times. Coldplay, two times. So I see some winners now. Ricardo Arjona. When you see that the, the, the name is big, it's because a lot of people are mentioning, okay? Si aparece más grande el nombre de Ricardo Arjones, porque varios lo están escribiendo. Okay, so, huh. let me check. Electronic, sorry, not a specific singer. Okay, Roberto, I suppose that maybe Roberto Carlos, the singer from Brazil. Soda Stereo, yes, really good, it's classic. Okay, somebody else. <coughs> Ricardo Montaner, Celine Dion. Uh-huh. Who else, who else, Mana? Very good. All right, so I think that some people are still answering. Uh-huh, Christina Aguilera. We have Luis Miguel. Uh-huh, and Backstreet Boys. Okay. Who else, who else, John Lennon. We have... Um, John Lennon, John Lennon. That's it, okay. One more, maybe somebody else who is missing. Please complete the survey with your favorite singer or band, music band. Okay, so I think that the winner here will be uh, Ricardo Arjona first. Uh, then we have Nirvana. Coldplay is, was mentioned many times, Guns N' Roses too. Okay, and that would be all, right? That would be all. Aerosmith appeared a couple of times too. Freddie Mercury, okay, Queen. Queen is a great band. They have really good music. Okay, perfect. Thank you so much. You can take a screenshot as a memory. I'm going to uh, go back to the next activity. So uh, we have 15 participants. So everybody answer. Excellent, congratulations. And let me take a screenshot here. Okay, one, two, and three. Okay, so later we can see um, your music taste, okay? We're going to go on and the next activity we are going to have a little conversation, okay? We're going to have a little conversation. And let me share the screen with you. Here it is. So, uh, do you like the, the activity that we did right now with the favorite singers, music band? You can use a reaction, thumbs up. It was interesting. Yes, I like it. Yeah, very, very good activity. Super. Okay, so you can share, right, at the same at the same time. So it's really good. Now we have a conversation. 
an invitation. So you're going to listen and, re and repeat, right? Pay attention to the conversation because later you are going to practice. It's a conversation between Dave and Susan and they are planning to go to, uh, to a match, right? To a soccer match. Dave starts, right? And he says, I have tickets to the soccer match on Friday night. Would you like to go? Thanks, I love to. What time does it start? At eight o'clock. That sounds great. So do you want to have dinner at six? Oh, I like to, but I have to work late. Um, that's okay. Let's just meet at the stadium before the match around 7.30. Okay, let's meet at the gate. That sounds fine. See you there. So, see you there, right? That's it. That's it. like goodbye. Uh, in this case, there are some keywords that maybe we have to pay attention to. Um, maybe new words, new vocabulary. Uh, the pronunciation of the of the word of this word here, for example, uh, let me highlight it. Is wood. Would you like, would you like, right? Would you like, um, would you like to go? So you don't pronounce the letter L, okay? So only the letter D. So you say, would, would you like to go? Uh, then we have, let me check. Stadium, that's another word. Stadium, right? That's the pronunciation, stadium. So, um, Around 7.30, let's meet at the gate, gate. Does anybody know the meaning of this word, gate? No, I don't know, I don't know. No? Okay, so like, like, like a big door or um, in this case, yes, when you enter in the garage, for example, when you enter your car, there is a gate, right? So somebody said porton, that's correct. That would be the gate. Um, so, um, and sounds, that sounds fine. That sounds great. So you see, they use that expression. Okay. Um, soccer match. Okay, no problem. So everything is easy to pronounce. Okay. Dinner, I like to, but I have to work late. Let's just meet, right? Let's just, just, okay? That would be a pronunciation. You write it just or just, but you pronounce it just. Let's just meet at, meet at. So we can use linking sounds. Don't forget about that, but it's really important to meet at. For example, the T, we pronounce it like, like an R here. And we say, let's meet at, meet at, um, then um, that will be all, I think. Yeah, I like to, but I have to work late. That's okay. Uh, I love to. What time does it start? Does it? Does it? That's another one. Does it start? Does it start? Match on Friday, and that's it. Now, you are going to go to the breakout room. Do you have questions about the pronunciation, about the vocabulary? Nope. Teacher. How did uh -huh. you pronounce I will contractado? Ah, okay. That the contraction of I would. That's a good question. Uh, thank you, Isaac. So in this case, the, the pronunciation is I'd I'd like to. I'd like to. That would be the the complete phrase, right? I like to. Me gustaría. I like to. Um, so I'd with D. I'd. I'd like to, okay? Good question. Now we are going to go and practice. You are going to have three minutes to practice with a partner, okay? Let me check that everybody has one partner. One, two, and three. I'm going to recreate the breakout rooms because now we are more, there are more students. Okay, so here we go. Okay. One, two, let me check, room number four. Here we go. Ready, set, go. All 
right. Set the invitation. Kevin, Elias, uh, what else is missing here? Yeah, yes, Elias and Kevin. Kevin, did you get the invitation? Hello, hello. Okay, perfect. Thank you very much. Okay. Do you like to start? Yeah, I, uh, do you see? Go. Thanks. I love to, I love to. What time does it start? You can start. At eight. At eight. The song read, so do you want to have dinner at uh, six o'clock? Um, I like, I like to, but I have to work to work late. Oh, that that's okay. Let's let you meet meet it the stadium before the match. From seven, no, sé cómo se, no me acuerdo cómo se dice siete y media. Seven thirty. Seven thirty. That's right. Okay, uh, let's meet at the gate. At uh, gate, gate, gate. Is the correct gate. teacher? Yeah, gate. This sound fine. See you. See you three. Three. No? See you there. See you there. Yeah. See you see there. You. Okay. okay. Oh, I just say Dave. Okay. I have a ticket to the soccer match on Friday. Hello, hello. Hello. Hi, Kevin. Okay, could you practice a conversation with Elias or it was not possible? Aquí estoy, a ver qué es eso. Okay, he disappeared. So let's practice quickly. I have tickets to the soccer match on Friday night. Would you like to go? Thanks. I love to. What time does it start? Does it start? Okay. At eight o'clock. At eight o'clock. That sounds great. So do you want to have dinner at at six? Seven, six o'clock. At o six o'clock? Oh, I like to, but I have to work late. Oh, that's okay. Let's just meet at the stadium. Stadium before the match around, around seven, seven thirty. Seri. Seven thirty. Okay, let's meet at the gate. <laughs> that sounds that sounds fine. See Se you there. Perdió. Yeah. <laughs> we lost the connection. Okay, I know that the selecta is playing, right? La selecta is playing, but even though they are playing, I hope that you are a little concentrated in the in the activity. So uh, we're going to move on. Don't worry, we're going to finish soon. So you will be able to watch at least the second half of the game. So uh, everybody's back. Almost, almost everybody's back. So we're going to move on and the practice, okay, with the practice. So just for pronunciation issues or for pronunciation purposes, okay, uh, I need two volunteers to practice a conversation, okay? Two volunteers. 
So Rodrigo, always willing to participate. That's okay. And Teresa, thank you, thank you so much. So uh, Rodrigo, Dave, Teresa, Susan. Okay, thank you for the opportunity. Okay. You're welcome. Yeah. So One, I have two, three, action. I have tickets to the soccer match on the Friday night. Would you like to go? Nice. Thanks. I love to. What time does it start? At eight o'clock. That sounds great. So, do you want to have dinner at six? Oh, I like, but I have to work late. Oh, oh that's okay. Let's mm -hmm. just meet at the stadium before the match around seven. 30. 30, that's right. Okay, let's meet at, at, at the gate. Let's meet at the gate. That's so fun. See you there. See you See there. Okay, bye bye. Excellent. So um, that's a conversation that you can have with your friend, right? For example, hey, let's go and watch La Selecta, right? Or let's go and uh, to play soccer, whatever, right? Or let's go to have dinner. So that kind of vocabulary is the one that you use. Now, if you pay attention, there is a specific question that they are using here. Would you like to go? So they are using the, uh, the verb would, okay? Would you like to uh, go? So we use this question or this verb when we make an invitation, okay? When we make an invitation or when we offer something. So for example, would you like to eat dinner with me? So like right now, like we are having a conversation. Would you like to drink something? Um, so it's, that's uh, the normal use. And for that reason, we have the grammar focus here. As you might notice, we have the grammar here. And um, we have the rules or the formula, let's say that is would plus verb plus do plus verb. In this case, you don't have to learn the formula, like memorize it, just put into practice, okay, the structure. Okay, the first question is, I'm going to ask for help to Elena. Elena, can you please read the first question here in the grammar focus? Um, I do understand, teacher. Okay, just read the question, read this question. Ah, okay, what do you, well, would you like to go on Friday? Would you like to go out on Friday? Okay, would you like to go out on Friday? What possible like possible, possible, possible answers, Carla, please. Uh, yes, I will. Yes, I'd love to dance. Yes, okay. I really like to go. Yes, I really like to go. So different ways to, to, to answer, right? You can say yes, okay, yes it, but it's better to give a complete answer. Excellent, thank you so much, uh, Carla and Elena. We continue with the next volunteer. Sonia, can you please read the second question? Sonia, are you there? Okay, the second question, please. I think that she's having some problems with the microphone. So we're going to ask um, somebody else to help us here. Dinora, are you there? Yes. Would you like to, uh -huh. would you like to go to soccer match? Would you like to go to a soccer match? Uh-huh, very good, that is a question. Jancy, can you please read the, the answers? I like to, but I have to work late. That's correct. I like, but I need to save money. Okay. I like to, but I want to visit my parents. Okay, so this is a polite way. Thank you so much, Jancy. Um, 
ending on a, this is a polite way to say no, okay? Hey, let's go to the movies. Oh, I love to, or I like to, but I have to work at night. Okay, somebody, when people ask me, hey, Fred, let's go uh, to have dinner tonight. I'm like, I'm sorry, but I would like to, but I have to teach a class from eight to nine. So when you um, don't accept yes. the invitation, when you don't accept the invitation, right? That is the structure that you should use. Okay, I like to, or I love to, me encantaría, right? Uh, I love to, but I have to go to a celebration. I love to, but I have to visit my, my I don't know, my friend or my family, my girlfriend, boyfriend, whatever you, reason or excuse <laughs> you want to give. Now, um, let's make some invitations. Let's improvise a little bit. Isaac. Isaac, are you there? Hello. Okay. Can you please make an invitation to Ana Maria? An uh, invitation. Ana Maria, would you like to go uh, to go? No, go. Perdón. Okay. Ana Maria, would Say it again. you like to, to eat on Friday with me? Eat dinner? Eat lunch? Um, dinner. Okay, eat dinner uh, <laughs> with me on Friday. Uh -huh. Ana Maria? Mm, yes, I go. Good. Yes, I would. Okay, excellent. Now, uh, Victoria, can you please invite um, Glenda uh, to whatever you like, to any place, to do whatever you want? Gabby, would you like to go to the Bad Bunny concert <laughs> with me? Okay. I'd like to, but I don't like it. <laughs> Okay. okay, I like to, but I don't like him, right? I don't like him, right? I like his music. Okay, that's a, a normal answer, right? A normal answer. Now, let's continue. Uh, more invitations. Uh, Teresa, can you please uh, invite Rodrigo? Um. Okay, we have some interference. Teresa, are you there? Okay. Okay. Hello. Okay. Uh, uh, I don't know, teacher. <laughs> um, um, invite him to watch a movie on on Saturday night. <laughs> So ask the question, ask the question, okay? Rodrigo, you invite Teresa. She's, a, she's shy, right? Because she's not accustomed to ask for an invitation. She's accustomed to receive an invitation. So Rodrigo? Okay, Teresa, would you like to go with me to the movies? Please. Uh, would you like to go to the movies with me, please? Like please. almost begging. <laughs> <laughs> um, okay, Rodrigo. I I do like. Yes. I would like to. Okay. Or I love to. Excellent. So you got you got a movie partner now. Okay, so that is the way that we do it. Okay. So practice makes improvement. So it is necessary to practice. Now you already practice wood. I am going to do one more example. In this case, I am going to ask my day. My day, would you like to practice English with me? Yes, I will. Yes, I would. Mm, I don't know. It, it didn't no. sound. It didn't sound so. I don't know. So real. <sighs> it didn't feel so natural. Like, yes, I would. Like, no. Yes. 
<laughs> I like to. Yes, I like to, or I love to. Okay. I love Thanks. to. Okay, excellent. Yeah. Thank you, my dear, for practicing okay. English with me. Very good. Now okay. we're going to continue and I am going to share a new link with you. So for this uh, next activity, we are going to, you are going to write, you're going to type. Okay. So uh, let me share the screen with you one more time. A new screen here. As you can see here, we have um, a question. If you could visit, I mean, if you could visit, that's, that, I think it was, if you could go, if you could go anywhere in the world, if you could go anywhere in the world to any place, any city, any specific place, a destination in the world, you had the money, you had the time, Okay, um, you have the visa, the permission. Where would you like to go? Where would you like to go? And for this uh, answer, it is necessary that you give reason. You give reason or reasons for your answer. For example, if I could go anywhere in the world, I would like to go to Barcelona because uh first barcelona it's a beautiful city uh in spain uh, my favorite team is barcelona i love the architecture um that the city has and i would like to uh go to the no camp and give a tour around the museum and everything to know the history and watch the videos watch a game a soccer match uh especially a classical would be great so that is what I'm going to type. The, I'm going to say what place I would like to go to and the reason why. Okay, so I need you to express why you would like to go to that place. Okay, any place in the world. And I am going to share the link with you right now. Wait a second. So you will get that uh, in, the, in the chat right here in the, so. You can open the chat, open the link, sorry, and um, and then start typing your answer. You have exactly four minutes to write your answer. And we are going to see your responses here. Okay, clear, we will like coffee. Uh-huh, now I see somebody's writing here. Aha, uh -huh, you see? In a moment, we are going to see all of the answers, all of the answers. So get inspiration right now, get inspired and say where you would like to go and why, the reasons. Okay. Aha, uh -huh, I see. More people now, four people are typing. One, two, three, four, apparently four, maybe more. If you have questions like teacher, how do you say this? How do you say that? You can ask me, okay? What's this? Okay, uh, it is possible to edit your, your, your post, right? You can click edit. Here, you can add a picture, you can add a link, you can change the color, for example, it can be green, update, okay? You can change the, the text, mm -hmm, like here. You can change that, <laughs> okay. I would like to visit. Paris in France because I would like to see the Eiffel Tower in person. Uh -huh. The Eiffel Tower in person. You can modify okay that if you want. Anonymous and France. Uh huh. Okay. So. 
si pudiera ir a cualquier lugar en el mundo, ¿a dónde le gustaría ir? That is the question that you're going to answer. Canada. The reason I would like to go to the USA because I would like to visit my family and my grandmother. Nice. I like, I would like to, don't forget, I would like to, we need to use the grammar that we were practicing. I would like to, in my case, I'm going to post. Okay. So it's like this. I'd like to uh, go to Barcelona because I love the soccer team and the architecture of the city. An example, right? Visca Barça, and then that's it, right? And then I am going to post, I'm going to change the color to blue, uh, I can look for a picture on the internet. I can uh, record the screen. I can record my voice. I can take a picture. You can do whatever you like. You can share a link from Spotify, <laughs> a link from YouTube. And then you publish. I would like to go to Israel. Ah, okay, because I want to know the culture, place, and traditions. Very good. Okay, excellent. We have one more minute. I would like to visit Mexico because it has interesting places and the culture, history, and the food, also the food. I like to go to Paris. I want to visit my parents. Wow. Excellent. Really nice. Okay. I like to, here is, I like to go to Paris. We're going to change the color to red okay uh-huh let's see one more i would like to visit my brothers in canada okay i would like to visit my brothers excellent i like to go to paris i want to visit my parents i have read i read that one before and that's it the time is over so uh you can type your answer later that's okay I would like to go to Japan because I love the food and culture. Ah, you like sushi. Who is this person? I don't know. This is anonymous in this case, right? Um, but it's just the idea of sharing, okay? Because remember that communication in English is not going to be just speaking, but also uh, typing, right? Chatting, so uh, writing. So it is necessary to practice different uh, skills. Okay, so if you didn't finish, you can do it later and I'm going to read the answers. So because of time, uh, we are going to stop sharing this screen. Um, what do you think about this activity? Was it interesting for you? Was it useful? Is there something that you feel that you need to practice more? Yes, I like the activity to typing. Is it interesting? Yeah. It is necessary. Uh -huh. It is necessary to practice. So excellent. I'm glad that you liked it. And right now we are going to stop here. Um, the topic is wood, uh, in case you are working on the platform, right? So um, 
on the platform, by the way, on the platform, by the way, you are working on the section four, right? On the section four, you have, um, I really like pop music, lesson objective, the video with the yes, no, and WH questions we do. And you have, for example, the knowledge check. When you are working on this, the, the instructions are very simple. Um, mm -hmm. You are going to complete the sentences by using do, does, don't, doesn't, or object pronouns. For example, number one, you like science fiction movies. What is the correct answer here? The correct compliment? Do. Do. Do you, okay? So, uh, number two, no, I wouldn't. Don't. Don't. No, I don't. No, I don't. Okay, no, I don't. And we need a period right to finish the sentence i don't like we're talking about the movies right about science fiction movies i don't like it mm, nope. it's plural it's plural so we say i don't like them very much no me gusta mucho i don't like them very much them we refer to science fiction movies okay Jake and Lisa like soap operas. What is auxiliary? Does. Do. 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 Why, why do? Because. This is about Jake and Lisa. Because we're talking about two people, uh, Jake and Lisa. They. Do Jake and Lisa like soap operas? Uh -huh. Jake. What is auxiliary? Does. 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 Does, but I don't know about Lisa. Why don't you ask? We're talking about Lisa. We're talking about Lisa. Uh -huh. her. Her. Excellent. Why don't you ask her? And that's the way that you will do it. Okay. That's the way that you complete the exercise. So that will be all for today. Have a good night and don't forget that tomorrow we're taking the picture for the week number three. Okay, so take care of yourself. I will see you tomorrow. Have a good night, everybody. Goodbye. Good night. Thank you. Good night. Good night. See you tomorrow. Go and watch La Selecta now. Okay. <laughs> okay. It's already okay, finished. <laughs> no, but it's missing one half. <laughs> okay. Bye bye. Bye, teacher. Good night. Good night. See you, Elena. See you.